Hi everyone, I'm Jody Barrows with the Square and a Square Technique and we are here in our booth at one of the many quilt shows that we go to. I want to do a quick refresher and show you the option one and the option three square and square and then point some quilts out in our booth. So let's come down here and look at the ruler with the basic square. So here's the basic square and we're just going to put the 90 right in the tip of the square. The black lines just go right over the seam and when I trim it up, see it leaves that perfect fourth of an inch seam allowance. And I'll just go around and do that to all four sides, making sure that I keep my fabric square square underneath the ruler and where I'm looking here, and that I always keep that nice fourth of an inch seam allowance. Now we are here early this morning to do some filming before the show actually opens, so it might be a little bit dark. They don't always turn all of the lights on early. So there's our option one, where we have that great fourth of an inch seam allowance on all four sides. And now we want to trim for some flying geese. So for the flying geese, we're going to leave the fourth of an inch on two opposite sides, and we're going to trim sharp right up to the tip. You can kind of see here how we're going to get two flying geese out of our basic square. So the first thing we do is we put the 90 in there, and we're going to step it over two lines, one, two. We call it the Texas two-step, and you want it to be nice and sharp right through that point. Go to the opposite side, we're going to do the same thing. Put the 90 in there and step over two. Look where you've already cut, making sure that your block is staying square. Now we're going to put the 90 in there, line it up, and just leave it right there and see it leaves that fourth of an inch. Opposite side, put the 90 in there. Okay. Now we're going to come in here and just cut right through those sharp points and we're gonna get our two perfect flying geese. So if you wanted a star, of course you would use your four together like a star. And then of course, those of you that need a little bit more visualizing, you can see how you have the squares on the corner, square in the middle, and then of course your option three flying geese going around the outside edge. So let's look at a couple of quilts that use option one and option three. They're in almost every quilt that you make. This one is called Prairie Claw, and it's in the reference book volume one. We also have some great kits for it out of our memories of the Civil War fabric. So here are the option ones, and there's five of those in your quilt. So you can see how when you go back in and sew, your points are nice and sharp because you have that perfect fourth of an inch seam allowance. And then we've just used flying geese on the outside edge. So two basic squares to get the flying geese and five basic squares to get the option ones. Let's go over here to another popular quilt that we always have in our booth, and that would be the Americanas, where we have the flying geese that we've used for the stars. So once again, the two basic squares will get the four flying geese for one block, and then you just have a strata of strips. This um, quilt comes in the Americana pattern, and you have sizes for a 12 inch star, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. This is a 6 inch star, and a 5, a 4, and a 3. And here you see the 3 inch star. So the flying geese for the points, tr more traditional with the red, white, and blue, and the little strata of strips. And all of these sizes come in with your pattern. This one, we um, don't have any kits left for it. We're going to be remaking it in a new color wave and this one we um, have a few kits left uh, for this one if you're interested in this color one be sure and jump right in there on those kits those kits are $129 and the quilt is um, 74 by 82 now let's go back over here and uh, let's do an option four which is the half square triangles and I'll point that out in a couple of quilts that's in our booth Okay, so now let's trim up some um, half square triangles, which is option four. So we're just going to come in here and Texas two-step all four corners, trimming them all nice and sharp. So I'm just putting the 90 in there and then just stepping over two lines. Of course, always look at your fabric square underneath your ruler and make sure that it's staying um, even and nice and neat. Use those grid lines on your ruler. So here you can see how we've gone sharp on all four corners, and now we're just going to go right through those corners.
both directions and there you have your four um, half square triangles so if you wanted to use those in a border or if you wanted to use those for like the little hourglass shape or the pinwheel um, half square triangles are in just about everything that you make so let's look at some quilts now in the booth that use the option four of the half square triangles this one is called this one is called grizzly mountain and you can see in the pattern of course my quilt that i have here on the front and then this uh, on the back on the back here you can see the one that my great great grandmother made 150 years ago you can see the worn edges and she did her colors just a little bit different than i did i put my red in here to help the, make those stars jump out so let's look at the quilt so here you can see where i've used the red in here and that makes these red stars jump out which my grandmother didn't do so here we have the option three flying geese going around the star and then we have the option four half square triangles going around and like a big uh, bear paw this is called grizzly mountain kind of a cross between the bear paw and the delectable mountains and then look i don't know if you can see the borders uh, but we did the, the half square triangles for the sawtooth border and this is certainly one that i would never attempted to make without the option four of the square and square system i don't have to peel any papers my points are all nice and sharp and all my work smooth and flat. Now this one here, I don't know how well we can get this one in here, but this one is the broken star and we've used the half square triangles in here to help make our star. And this is that wonderful little hourglass shape that I showed over on the cutting table. I'm gonna step over and get it while you continue to look at the blog. But this is one of my favorites to do. So see how we have the half square triangles with the noses coming together, like you can see here, and then just plain squares in the corner. And of course, in this one, we did this one the same color as the half square triangles to help make the star jump out more, more so. And so see, all of these would be the same, and you just turn them to go in your block. This one is called Broken Star, and in the pattern, we also have the Union Square. So you have the Broken Star pattern in there, you'll have the Union Square pattern, and then of course, we always give you multiple sizes of blocks, so you have six additional blocks. Let's walk on over here and look at Union uh, Square. So here is the Union Square block, and we've used the option one in the center, and we fussy cut some of our Civil War fabrics. And so this was the square in the middle, and the brown was the strips that went around for the option one. And then for all of these little points going around the outside edges, we actually used a flying goose here, and then half square triangles here on the corner. And the reason why we did a flying goose here on this one, instead of half square triangles, is that prevents a seam from the center there. And remember, every time you have a seam, you have that human element of a cutting, a sewing, and a pressing. So that helps remove three human elements. And of course, if you like the kit for that one, we have it available also. The quilt is 70 by 82, and the kit is um, $145, and that includes your pattern. Now this one up here, we've used the flying geese here for the points of the star, and then we've used the flying geese here for the outside edge. This center unit here is an option 11, and I'm going to get all four of those out of my option 11. Um, I'm not going to do an option 11 in this video, but um, it's really a cool option where you're just going to start out with your center and sew around it twice, and then the way you trim it up, you're going to get all four of those shapes with a little square, two triangles, and the bigger triangle. So that one is really a cool one. Double star is also another great pattern. We've used the option one for the setting block in here, and then we've used the option three flying geese to make those black points of the star. Now this is a little three inch star, but the pattern has uh, all the different sizes that you need. It goes, uh, you have two complete quilt patterns in there and eight different block sizes. So you're gonna have a three inch star, a four inch, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, 9, 10, and 11, and a 12 inch star in this pattern. So you'll be able to make this as big or little as you, as you choose. 
So I hope you've enjoyed just a quick little mini tour and demo of our booth. For those of you that couldn't make it to the quilt show, you've seen just a little bit here for you to enjoy. Anytime you have any questions or comments, just email us or text us and let us know. We maybe even film a little video showing you how to do it and to answer your question. Remember to do a thumbs up and subscribe to the Jody Barrows YouTube and be sure and watch our Facebook page and uh, enjoy our website.